In this video, I'm going to explain Boyle's law. Boyle's law, it says volume of a gas is inversely proportion to the pressure. This relationship, it is at constant temperature and mole. Whenever we have proportion, we are able to convert proportion to equality or equation by using a constant proportionality. In this case, I'm going to rewrite this proportion to equations by using a constant. I just show it by K here. This constant, it is proportionality constant. So I would like to rewrite this equation in this form. Volume is equals to constant over pressure and if i do cross multiplying it means pressure times volume is equals to constant so this equation it is very important because it tell us multiplication of pressure and volume it is always equals to a constant number k so if i have a gas at a state one or at condition one and condition for that gas change to another conditions then we can say the pressure and volume for condition one it is p1 v1 and pressure and volume for condition two it is p2 and v2 based on these equations p1 v1 it is equals to k also p2 times v2 is equals to k so we are able to write p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 this is the actual formula it's known as a Boyle's law and we are going to use this equation to solve five problems at second part of this video if you would like to have a diagram for relationship of pressure and volume if we have p on y axis and v on x axis Whenever we have increasing in pressure, we should have decreasing in volume because their multiplication is always is equal to constant. So if I make double the value for pressure, the volume value should be half. Then their multiplication of these two variables will be constant. So in the diagram, we should have decreasing of volume by increasing pressure or uh, vice versa so the diagram for volume and pressure would be like this it's not a linear it is a curve we may have volume on y axis and pressure on x axis the shape of the diagram still will be same thing so if we have pressure uh, versus one over volume we are going to have a linear graph again we may have volume versus one over pressure in that case we are going to have the same linear graph but let's have some example here is first example it says a balloon contains 24 liter of gas where the pressure is 2.2 atm what will the volume be when the pressure is 1.5 atm so it says the volume for gas is 24 liters so volume initial volume it is 24 liter and it says pressure for that gas it is 2.2 atm so pressure is 2.2 atm initial pressure or pressure at condition one then the question asks what is the volume when pressure is 1.5 atm so final pressure it is 1.5 atm and we would like to know what is the volume on that condition so when we have this information here we can clearly see the formula we need is p1 v1 p2 v2 one thing is important about this formula we should have same unit for pressure and same unit for volume it doesn't matter what is our unit 
So for pressure, we can have ATM, millimeter of mercury, Pascal, PSI, and so on. Same for volume, but we should have same unit on both sides of equation. In this case, for pressure, we have same unit. So there is no problem for this. So P1, it is 2.2, and V1, it is 24. Final pressure, it is 1.5. And we don't know what is V2. So if I divide both sides by 1.5, then this 1.5, they're going to cancel each other. So volume will be 2.2 times 24 divided by 1.5. The answer is equal to 35.2. And the unit for answer should be liter because the unit for the initial volume was leader. Here is a second example. It says a sample of unknown gas occupies a volume of 460 milliliter. So the initial volume, it is 460 milliliter and exert a pressure of 950 millimeter of mercury. So pressure, it is 950 millimeter of mercury. If the volume of gas is allowed to expand to 1200 milliliter, secondary volume is 1200 milliliter, what will be the pressure of the gas? So we want to calculate P2. Again, we can see the formula we need here. It is P1, V1, P2, V2. P1 is 950 millimeter of mercury times V1 is 460 milliliter we need to double check and make sure the volume units are same units p2 we don't have it and v2 it is 1200 if i divide both sides by 1200 p2 will be 950 times 460 divided by 1200 which is equals to 364.2 and the unit for our answer it is equal to the unit for initial pressure, millimeter of mercury. Here for example three, it says a balloon contains 750 milliliter of gas. So initial volume, it is 750 milliliter and pressure, it is 2.2 atm. What will the volume be when the pressure is 620 millimeter of mercury so we want to calculate volume when pressure is 620 millimeter of mercury again p1 v1 p2 v2 but there is a problem here the unit for pressure at p1 and p2 they are different we need to convert one of this unit to another unit it really doesn't matter if you would like to convert ATM to millimeter of mercury or opposite. I'm going to convert P2 in ATM unit. So P2, it is equal to 620 millimeter of mercury times 1 ATM, it is always equal to 760 millimeter of mercury. So we can use this conversion factor for converting millimeter of mercury to ATM. The answer is 0.82. ATM. So I'm just going to put 0.82 ATM. We can solve this problem right now. P1 it is 2.2 ATM times volume V1 it's 750. P2 it is 0.82 and V2 we don't know. If I divide both sides by 0.82 then V2 is equals to 2.2 times 750 divided by 0.82 and the answer is equal to 2012 and the unit it should be milliliter because v1 unit was milliliter here for example 4 it says a gas occupies 6.25 liter so initial volume it is equals to 6.25 and it says the pressure is 1.1 atm so p1 
is equals to 1.1 atm and it says what is the volume in milliliter when the pressure is increased to 1.6 atm so we want volume but in milliliter and our final pressure it is 1.6 atm p1 v1 is equals to p2 v2 so here question has same unit for pressure but it has different unit for volume because the difference is for unknown volume we can calculate the volume and at the end convert it to milliliter or we can convert this liter to milliliter so i would like to just continue with these numbers and at the end convert it to milliliter so p1 it is 1.1 v1 is 6.25 then p2 it is 1.6 and v2 we want to find it if i divide both sides by 1.6 by 1.6 then v2 is equals to 1.1 times 6.25 over 1.6 which is equals to 4.3 the unit for volume here it is liter because on the left hand side the unit for volume was liter so the v2 it is 4.3 liter and we know we can convert liter to milliliter by multiplying to 1000 so the answer will be 4300 milliliter and for the last example we have a gas occupied 8.4 liter so v1 is equals to 8.4 liter at 0.96 atm so initial pressure is 0.96 atm and the question asks what will be the volume of this gas if the pressure becomes 21 psi so we want to calculate v2 when pressure is equals to 21 psi of course we should use this equation boyle's law but we can see that the unit for pressures are different in this question we cannot put two different units in boyle's law equation so we need to convert one of them to another one so i would like to convert p2 to atm p2 is equals to 21 psi 1 atm is equals to 14.7 psi and the answer is equals to 1.4 atm so i'm going to write 1.4 atm here right now we have same unit and we can use boyle's law equation so p1 it is 0.96 v1 is 8.4 liter p2 it is 1.4 atm and v2 we need to find it if i divide both sides by 1.4 then v2 is equals to 0.96 times 8.4 divided by 1.4 and the answer is 5.8 and the unit should be liter because here we have liter thank you for watching this video for watching more video please subscribe to this channel